Well, I'm going to cover with you five points here to get you to that next level. And these five points are clarity, market research, business planning, KPIs, and execution. So let's start with clarity. When you first started your business, something led you to start your business. Either you were upset about your current situation or there was an opportunity you wanted to, to take advantage of. Either way, however you got to starting your business, you were excited, you're primed, you're pumped, you're willing to do the day-to-day. -day. And like most entrepreneurs, when you're in the day-to-day -day and you keep your focus down into what you got to do on a day-to-day -day basis, said we have to lift our heads back up to see what we are clear on path that we're heading on. Otherwise, we're heading ourselves hitting ourselves and leaning to ourselves into a brick wall. So in order to scale your business, you have to have clarity and what your business is all about to begin with and stay focused in on that mission, stay focused in on that purpose, and also find systems and processes that help you get to the next level without everything completely depending upon you. So a great resource book for this is the book, Your Next Five Moves by Patrick B. David. I've been working with Patrick B. David going on nine years now, starting in 2015. He was introduced to me by a mutual friend who was a pastor. Pastor Dudley Rutherford, who ran the Shepherd of the Hills Church, and I was introduced to Patrick by David by my sister, Jocelyn, who now runs a anti-human trafficking nonprofit campaign called nonprofit organization called Slavery No More. But nonetheless, we got introduced by a referral that led to certain con conversations, and Patrick recruited me in 2015, and I saw how clear he was about the vision he was accomplishing, and we qualified for a company paid trip in Dubai. Uh, six, seven months after our onboarding with PHP Agency as a incentive for my wife and I to get up and going in our first year with PHP Agency. And if you read that book in chapter one, he talks about clarity. Patrick actually mentions my wife and I in that book because at yeah, this trip in Dubai is a, uh, first of all, we we're very, very stressed because we just started breaking and throwing new cash flow. And here we are going to Dubai with not very many financial resources, believe it or not. But who wants to turn on a free trip to Dubai? We can barely afford a free trip. But nonetheless, we were out there. And my wife got into a big, 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 big argument. Remember those arguments that not only leave the hotel room, but go into the hotel hallway and into the hotel elevator? That's one of the arguments that, wife, that my wife and I were having. I was telling my friends, there's this couple that's here that I think they're going to do good things here. And she says, oh, really? I said, yeah, these guys are doing great things. I said, let me introduce them to you. I said, these are the guys. He says, Patrick, you sure they're going to do good things? I said, yeah, I'm telling you, they are. He says, buddy, earlier yeah. we were in the elevator with them and it was so awkward. They were screaming at each other the entire time in the <laughs> elevator. We couldn't wait to leave. <laughs> we thought they were going to. I said, what are you saying? He says, Pat, I'm telling you, this was on. So then he brought it up to you guys. My point is this. The reason why we're able to get through that argument, they were able to get through that area of embarrassment because my wife and I were very, very clear. And at this point, intense about where we wanted to go in business. And we didn't agree on a lot of things. And because it was a heated discussion, we still went through the trip and we still came back from that trip, fired up, regenerated, pumped up. And 2015 began the year we started changing our lives. So in order to scale successfully, you've gotta be clear on what that business is scaling it towards. Oftentimes people are, find themselves in this circle. For example, if think about this, you're, you're, you're kayaking, right? instead of going on both sides or you're rowing and one, one oar is pulling. You're just gonna end up in large circles. And so when my wife and I decided to come in business together, and by the way, a lot of couples in business today don't do the business together. They don't operate a business together. And people say, yeah, you'd be foolish to ever work a business together with your wife. Are you kidding me? It's already hard enough to be married. I know. But as I look and, and I study the Bible and I read stories and I Look at the ways that businesses and families and dynasties were created. You know what I recognized? It's a king and queen. It's a husband and wife. Is royalty put together to create a, and build a kingdom and reign over the kingdom, reign over that empire, whatever situation it was, but it was husband and wife. And, and it was only until the industrial age that husband left the house, wife stayed home with the kids. I mean, even look at farms back in the day, the way America was built. There was a ranch, there was a farm, husband worked the farm, he brought home the kill, he brought home the harvest, and guess who takes care of the kill? Who takes care of the harvest? Who butchers, who cooks, cleans, who takes care of the kitchen, who took care of the house? These are traditional roles, I know. There's nothing sexist about it, in my opinion, but these are just traditional roles 
that many men and many women have operated on for years, for centuries. And so we operate and we got clear, and regardless of the perception of how people perceived us, that I realized as just an independent agent that I was operating in for 13 years as just a life insurance agent. I was capped. I was stuck. But I loved my business. I loved helping families. I loved being in the neighborhood, in the communities, preaching and talking about financial literacy, retirement planning, to help people in that demographic that weren't getting financial help. And I was able to provide a resource and I was provided by a business and a service to help people understand what financial products and services were most appropriate and suitable and affordable for them. Now I bring my wife into the mix and she's fired up about it. She's excited about it. She left her job at, at Stryker uh, Medical Selling Hospital Beds to go and visit with me. We didn't care what the perception was about husband and wife or what mom and dad or aunt and uncle thought about us going in business together, operating a business together. Go. 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 Go.